Seven. Teachers and students get ready. Big changes are proposed for Indiana schools. Indiana Superintendent of Public Instruction, Dr. Tony Bennett, visited Deming Elementary in Terre Haute this afternoon. He outlined a plan for drastic education reform that includes tying teacher and administrator pay to student achievement and growth, reworking teachers' union contracts, and allowing parents a voice in deciding the fate of failing schools. There are no details yet, but as News 10's Louisa Muller reports, the plan already has some Vigo County teachers and administrators speaking out. You know, your daughter you said was a little embarrassed about maybe saying you're her father. I think it's probably the reason I'm a little embarrassed in that I'm not sure that I feel I have an advocate sitting in Indianapolis taking care of public instruction. A standing ovation for Danny Tanous among fellow teachers and administrators. The superintendent of Vigo County Schools had some strong words for Tony Bennett. The main point of contention, tying teachers' salaries to student performance. The general public, if they just look at what's published in the paper, would say, well, for 20 years, she was a very ineffective teacher. And now all of a sudden, you get to miracle. I'm a very highly effective <laughs> Patty Curley worked at a low-income school for 20 years before moving to another school. She says despite her hard work, her kids' test scores did not go up. I feel fine about be, being evaluated on my performance. I don't think it's fair for us to be evaluated on the performance of kids who are dealing with things that are totally outside our control. But Tony Bennett maintains the current system of teacher evaluation isn't working. We know that paying teachers by degrees and years of experience is ineffective. Research tells us those are two factors that have nothing to do with student performance or teacher effectiveness. It's a dispute that's sure to have teachers taking a stand as reform becomes more inevitable. Reporting in Terre Haute with photojournalist Laren Jones, Louisa Moeller, News 10. The reform will be packaged into a series of bills to be discussed when the Indiana legislature convenes in January.